Hello to all. Welcome to the channel. I am Priyanksha Das, studying MSc Forensic Science, specializing in Cyber Forensics from National Forensic Science University, Gandhinagar, and I am a volunteer at FSI. So today we're going to talk about cyber stalking. So let us start with the definition of cyber stalking. It is nothing less than a stalking over the internet or in a virtual space. The stalkers might target individual, group, or any organization to defame them, threat them, or slander them. The motive could be primary or secondary. Either the motive could be just to stalk them or to get an information which can be used maliciously. So what are the tools that stalkers are using? These are the electronic communication medias such as email, instant messaging or messages posted to the websites or discussion groups. They are basically using anonymity afforded by the internet to allow them to stalk their victim without being detected. Cyber stalking messages are very much different from the ordinary spams that we come across. Cyber stalker used to put threatening messages to a specific victim while the spammers used just annoying messages to multiple recipients. So here is a point to be noted that the cyber stalkers they have a very specific choice of victim. They know what to target, whom to target and how they can be threatened by. So now where does cyber stalking occurs? These are specifically the platforms or medias which helps the stalkers to stalk. These medias helps the stalker to know what to stalk, what they want to stalk and how they can stalk their victim. First, if they get their emails or come across to their email or profiles via any news group, internet site, chat room, third party instant messages or service user profile. It includes all kind of application in which we used to put our profile with our information in that including WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat or any other video conferencing tools such as Google Meet, Webex, etc. In virtual space, we come across three main variants of stalking. Stalking through emails, internet or computer. First of all, we'll talk about email stalking. It's nothing but sending hate, obscene or threatening emails or sending viruses or spams. Then comes internet stalking. These are basically spreading rumors tracking victims on the web, specifically defaming the victim. Then computer stalking. It's hacking into the victim's computer and taking full control of it for which stalkers use various viruses or malicious softwares or applications about which we will talk about in the coming videos. Now let us talk about the type of stalkers. First is vindicative or vindictive cyber stalkers. They are noted for their ferocity and aggressive behavior. They mostly have their criminalistic behavior or anger management issues. Then comes composed cyber stalkers. Uh, their motive is only to annoy the victim. Then comes intimate cyber stalkers. Their attempt is to form a relationship with their victims. Then comes collective cyber stalkers. They are basically the group with the motive of stalking or collecting the information for any malicious intent. Then comes how victims are stalked. Either the stalking can cause identity theft by collecting the information of the victim or false accusation or defaming them, making threats to the victim, solicitation of minors or just for monitoring the victim for their actions. All these actions of the stalkers can physically, mentally or financially abuse the victim. But these are just the preliminary steps. After that, the things go worse. They use the victim's name or profile for ordering goods and services. 
they encourage others to harass the victim or they attempt to gather more information about the victims by talking to their friends family colleagues and obtain their personal information so how to avoid cyber stalking first we need to keep a low profile not to post everything every time on time just delay your post and keep it safe update your software often it could not only help you from cyber stalking but also can save you from many kinds of frauds and can also provide a guard against hacking hide your ip in every possible way maintain a good digital hygiene cover your webcams when not in use and avoid discussing sensitive informations such as username or passwords to the strangers or any unknown person apart from it one bonus point would be follow the guidelines properly and make your password stronger but if you are already being stalked at first block the person report to the platform involved every platform have their own reporting system so report it in and call the police if necessary provide them every possible information you have about the stalker and convey them the problem you are facing we don't have direct laws against cyber stalking but yes we have related laws which can be very helpful when in need so these are the laws related to criminal intimidation assaults punishment for defamation intend to insult to the modesty of any woman compensation for failure to protect data or if somebody is threatening you or sending grossly offensive or menacing information using computer so here is the case study we come across in 2003 filed by ritu kohli it is the first ever complaint against cyber stalking in india whose name and contact information was posted by her husband's friend on the chatting site without her permission she filed a complaint with the cyber cell in india under section 509 of penal code for outraging her modesty if you go through the law part we don't have a direct law against cyber stalking in india till now but we have laws against stalking but if prosecuted correctly the stalker could get punished and the victim would get their justice so that's all folks if you want to learn more i will add all the references i used to make this ppt i hope you have enjoyed meet you in the next video till then goodbye take care be safe and be updated